Hello everyone and in this video I will show you how to set up uh, Unity Remote 4 for Unity 5. So in my case I have this strange tablet running uh, Unity Remote 4 and it's working correctly. So let's go ahead and see how it's working. Uh, well, first I'm going to kill uh, Unity Remote 4 over here. So I'm going to start this from scratch. You, 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 where is it? You, you, you. Unity Remote? No, not you, not unofficial as a store. Unity Remote 4. So I kill this process. And meanwhile, also I go to my developer options. You can see here I have such options on in my developer options. You use bitbugging, stay awake, allow mock locations. Also, I have my Wi-Fi connection disabled. I don't know why, but you know, just in case of trouble, I'm sure that I don't have it connected to anything. So only by USB cable. And about USB cable, mm. uh, we are going to Unity 5 now, and I'm going to show you the settings in my project. So I have uh, Android platform selected. I have here mobile input enabled. And also, I have here event system uh, component enabled. So this component and mobile input are not necessary, it's just for tests, so just never mind. A very important part of this business is to go to Edit, Project Settings, and to Editor, and select here any Android device as device in Unity Remote. It's very important moment. Now I'm going to close this application and I'm going to uh, launch Task Manager. And you can see that I have here ADB application running. ADB is Android Development Bridge. It's for connecting your device to your PC for development, of course. So now I'm going to hold the Windows button and R and there will be a window up here, here, run, and I type here CMD and hit enter. And then I type here ADB devices. So my device is connected to my computer. ADB devices and I, type, and I, and I hit enter and it will show me my device. So you, you can see this message appears here, ADB server is out of date, killing it's because I already had ADB running. If you launch ADB for the first time, it so it, it will be just, you know, this list of devices attached. And uh, this is my device. This is ID of device and I have it attached and I see that it's, it's detected by system. So now I need to kill server. I type ADB kill server and I hit enter. Also, you can do this manually if you don't know how to enter the, you know, these commands uh, over here in this command prompt. You can use um, you know, this task manager to uh, search for ADB and, you know, and kill uh, an, an end process, you know, here. But to check uh, if your device is connected, you have to use CMD. So type ADB devices, ADB space devices. So that's right about this. Now let's launch Unity and launch our Android project. And you can see that I have here my device connected, but um, Unity Remote 4 is not launched yet and also I don't have here Wi-Fi connection enabled so now it's now it's time to uh, launch our Unity Remote 4 it's just time so uh, what will Unity do on uh, on my you know hit play button Unity will start ADB process new ADB process 
which will help to connect your PC to your Android device. So you, you can see here, so uh, if I hit A button, I can see that only one application with a file name which starts with A, it's a vest. But if I hit play button, so what you can see here will be over here. Okay, now it's over here. And there's an application over here. It will be, uh, you know, with name ADB. A okay, here we go. O over here, ADB. It's for it's Android Development Bridge. So it connects your device with your PC for for development. Uh, this is used to push your games to your Android device. You know, when you build, uh, when you hit here, build and run. Uh, yeah, that's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video helped you to set up your Android development for uh, your, you know, for your device and Unity 5. Thanks for watching. See you later in the next videos of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye bye. <laughs>